Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. Get ready for a little kawaii box coming your way. Rats now. Bubble Teens, if you like squishies and cuteness, stationery, you would love this box. I've been getting it for about a year now, and I've only done like a couple unboxing videos. I'm kind of backed up. I have tons of them in my room at home. This one right here is the most current. I think it's for May or April. Not 100% sure, but it is filled. It's got 10 different cutesy little things inside, and we're going to open it right now. Sweetie Pies, I did take the tape off and I opened it, but I haven't peeked, I promise. I have no clue what's going on inside of this box. Let's check it out. If you guys have never had this box or seen it, it's so cute when you open it. It says cuteness overload, and that's exactly what's going on in here. Everything is so cute. It's got little tips for the perfect unboxing. Oh yeah, Bubba, like tips for the perfect unboxing. Document, share, and smile. Good to know. Enough with the chit chat. Here is my favorite part. I'm gonna open up this little boxy here. This is the little Chi Chi. Every month they give you a little postcard, and on the back, there's ooh, there's 11. 11 different items in here. Each one is numbered, so you know exactly what it is. Ooh, this is March. <laughs> I didn't even get the April one yet. Here it goes, guys. You get this adorable little tissue paper. And bam. You're like two months behind. What is going on? This is March. Today's May 1st. You're crazy. You guys are probably wondering, like, how is this little box holding 11 different things? Well, believe you me, it is. Some of them are probably small, like little stationary items and stuff like that. But there is going to be 11 things. Let's start with this one. Oh, so adorable. It looks like a squishy little, like a little coin purse. Oh, so cute. Fresh out of the wrapper, here we go. Oh, look at this little plushie. It is so ultra soft and nice. It is a pom-pom purin little plushie coin purse. Super adorbs. It does have that Easter theme going. It's like a little Easter egg with bunny ears, but pff, who cares? You could use it all year round. So adorbs. And the funny thing about this is I have seen these kind of things in stores. Probably this would be about $12 to $15. So just to think there's 10 more items in this box and it was only 20 bucks. Really, really worth it. Little bunny tail. This is a good size. You could put your little lip balm. You could put your coins. If you're going to like an arcade or something like this, you could just put anything in here. Pop your little credit cards or gift cards. Really love it. And although it is like Easter themed, I'm still going to use it now. It's just too cute. It's called the Sanrio Bunny Purse. Little baby purse is Sanrio. It is official license and super good quality. Love that. Moving on. What is this? <laughs> Little carrots. So I'm looking at these cutie things. I mean, they are so adorbs, but I'm just, I don't know what they are. All I could think maybe they're erasers. It says bunny and carrot carrots. Hmm. I guess is these are little erasers. Actually, they're not too little, but kind of big and super heavy. Let me take a look at my kawaii list. Oh, yes. Number two, Easter carrot erasers. Nice. Check them out. There it is, Bubble. One, two, three, orange carrot erasers. They are nice. Is a super close up of these. Oh, they are really, really cute. I mean, super simple. They are kind of Easter themed with those little carrots, but you could still use them any time of year. Ooh, they're like a little puzzle. But the weirdest thing about these, you guys, is how heavy they are. They are so super heavy. They're like heavy duty. <laughs> really nice. Love those. So far, I like you. I like everything we've gotten. We've only opened up two things so far, but they're nice. This looks like some candy. Check that out later. Ooh, little pen. Third goodie out of this kawaii box, we got the candy gel pen. I don't know why it's called a candy gel pen, but it is super pretty. It's really, really elegant looking. I'm like in love with this thing. It's got this pearl. I can't describe it. It's not a pearl. It's almost like a marble. It's a really, really pretty charm hanging off of there. Super different, you usually don't see that. And I wonder why they're calling it candy gel. Let's check it out. Not 
tested this little pen out here and I don't know why it's called candy gel but let me tell you it is such a good quality pen it's super smooth writing and it's got this really nice black ink it's got a nice fine tip <laughs> this pen I'm sure in a store would be close to about ten dollars just this pen alone it's got that little charm hanging this thing is amazing probably I have to see my favorite things so far love it just because I love my stationery and I checked out the list it's exactly what it's called number 10 candy gel pen super simple let's reach on in here Ooh, big little cookies they're right bubble they're like little macarons or ice cream sandwiches they look delicious next little treat up I mean this is probably the cutest one I have ever seen and if you're not figuring out what this is yet let me flip it it is like a little luggage tag, a little name tag. So, so cute. It does have those Easter kind of springy themes, these little macaron cookies, but you could use it any time of year and oh, it's just too cute. I've never ever seen one like this. So sweet. Butter, you're not gonna believe this. The luggage tag with the macaron cookies. It's a squishy one. Perfect. This is just unreal. I love it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. It's really simple, but very, very unique and cute at the same time. You put your name, address, your phone number. You could put this on your little carry-on, or you could even put it on in a backpack, like if you're going to summer camp. I think next time I go to Disney or Florida, I'm going to put this baby on my carry-on bag, just in case I misplace it. Hopefully I don't put my name, address, and... I think everyone would love this. Anyone who saw this would just love it. Hands coming in at number seven. That is the Pastel Macaron Travel Bag Tag. Exactly what it is for your traveling. Oh, so nice. Still got some more things in here. I do have to say I've opened a few kawaii boxes before. This is not the best one I've seen. I've seen much better with shirts, like squishies, jewelry, but I'm liking everything so far. I can't complain. Looks like the rest of it is probably some like stationery. Oh, look at these. Guess what I thought they were. I'm looking up here. You got your little animal sticky notes. Now these are so, so cute. They're kind of tiny. I don't think you could write much, but it's got a little piggy holding an apple. And you get quite a few of them. This is like the perfect size to pop in your pencil case at school or near your binder. Really cute. We got a new little stickies and looking at this. Ooh, I've never seen these. Magnetic bookmarks. Cool. They are so cute. I'm loving that little cat. It's just so adorable. Actually, they're all little cats, but I like this one. Oh, these cats are too adorbs. The words, they are all wearing birthday party hats for your birthday. Actually, I have a little book here to show you. Now, you guys have probably seen these way before I ever had. I mean, most of the time I use my little Kindle if I'm going to read a book or a novel or something. But if you have your old paper one, here's how it goes. It's got these two magnets. Using a coloring book. <laughs> so, so funny. So, I guess you just put like this little piece. And it sticks. Oh, look at that. That is so, so cool. It really does. It holds the pages together. Whoa. It's like the best invention ever because sometimes, you know, the regular ones, they just kind of fly out. But these little babies, they stick in there so good. Oh, but look. Look how fantastic these are. We get your pink one. This little gray one here. Looks like a little chihuahua kitty. And your final and your favorite, the birthday kitty. With those beautiful orange eyes. But look. You got a soda pop and a donut. It looks like the donut from, like, The Simpsons. Taking a look see at these two here. They look like little pins. Oh, those are adorable. And you know what they remind me of, you guys? I don't know if you've ever done the shrinky dinks, like those little things you color and then you melt them. These look like shrinky dinks. You get like a little soda pop can and a yummy donut. So cute. These two little pinsies right here are coming in at number nine. They're actually called the Harajuku acrylic pins. Ooh, they're Harajuku style. I love them. I love the material. They're actually super light, and I couldn't see myself like putting these on my shirt or something like that. But I would definitely clip them onto like a cute little denim purse or like a backpack. 
Ooh, looky here. We got some more stuff coming out of here. What else? Looks like some stickers, maybe some tattoos. But these are just catching my eye. Look at them. They're little stitch cookies. I see Rapunzel. These are like those little Disney biscuits and I've had them before. The ones I have had are chocolate. These look like they're strawberry flavored. Let me show you. They're basically like these little, they're just like these little biscuits with like a cream inside. And they have the cutest little pictures too. Ooh! Bubble, bubble, the pictures on these cookies are like too amazing for words. We got Mickey Mouse. It says okay. We got, ooh, the beast. We have Aurora, Disney princess, otherwise known as Sleeping Beauty, and one of my faves, Ariel, Little Mermaid. Look at these little ones here, these little honeybees, probably for Winnie the Pooh, and then we get another Mickey. I have always wondered, because I have had these before, my friend has brought them from Japan, like how do they make these pictures on a little cookie like that? How do they do it? Let me taste. If you never had these or tried them, I can show you. There's just like a little bit of cream, almost like an Oreo cookie filling, but it's strawberry flavored, not too sweet. It's like a very light biscuit, almost tastes like a cracker. These are the best, so, so good. I wish they gave more. There's only like four or five of them. It's super yummy. Hmm. The popular item that's usually always in the kawaii box is these crazy popping cooking little do-it-yourself candies. This one looks so, so cute. I think I've had this one before. They're like these little pieces of fondant and you can mold them and shape them, make cute little, like cute little pictures and animals and stuff like that. And when you're done, you can actually eat them. Probably save this for another show because it does take it a little bit of time. You gotta mix the colors, you gotta roll it out. But that's really super cute. And it was the Crazy Poppin' Cookin' Nary Candyland Do-It-Yourself Kit. These normally retail for about $5 each, so just this alone was five bucks. Really good. So we did it, guys. We made it. We are down to the final pieces of this box. It looks like we got some little tattoos. Oh, these are really cute, though. Look at the little watch and a little popsicle. And some puffy stickers. These puppy stickers are too cute for words. They are unreal. We got little bunnies, little carrots, little strawberries. And they're so tiny and like puffy. Love them. I'm not too sure if you guys know this about me because I'm always with my squishies and my lip balms. I love stationery and I love stickers. I love to collect them, like the little smelly ones and the poofy ones. And this one right here, oh, it's so cute. These are so miniature. You know, they're almost the size as like those nail decals. They're so, so tiny. But they have the cutest little bunnies. Some of them are black, some of them are pink. This one is big, but the rest are kind of tiny. But I just love them for like little do-it-yourself projects or if you have a sticker album you want to keep them in. Love those. Simple enough, coming in at number three. Those are the Kawaii Bunny Puffy Stickers. Bubble teams, we are on the 11th item that we're going to be looking at from the box. We finished it up and we get some Harajuku temporary tats. It's not super hard to find these little temporary tattoos in stores, they pretty much sell them everywhere. But these, these little pictures, they are just so unique and so cute. They almost look like they were drawn with like a pen or something like that. We get a little Hello Kitty bow. My fave is this little watch here, it's so so cute. A little popsicle. These are really, really nice. Look at that little cloud. And there it is, your March 2017 Kawaii box. 11 different items, all different, super cute, and I loved all of them. But I do have to say my absolute fave was this little luggage tag. I love it, it's just so unique. I've never seen anything as cute as this. With those little cookies, I love the colors. I just love it, squishy. And as always, I'd love it for your little sweetie pass to leave me a comment. Let me know out of all these things. What was your fave? Did you like the bookmarks, the candies, cutesy little pins? Whatever you liked or you didn't like, love for you to leave me a comment. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.